Hey friends, I just wanted to share a little video with you uh, about the new illustrating Bible from Illustrated Faith. And I know there are a lot of different Bibles on the market and I know a lot of people are looking at this particular Bible and so I thought it'd be fun to do a video and just kind of give you some comparisons um, between this Bible and some of the other Bibles that you might um, already have or um, maybe are looking at just so that you can um, have a little bit more information about this particular Bible um, if it's something that you're thinking about getting. I'm going to take the lid off of this gorgeous box. By the way, this box is huge, <laughs> huge and very heavy. I think it's like five pounds, um, something like that, but very nice, very thick box that it comes in um, on the back. Just to kind of give you some of the features that it says on the back here, it is a nine and a quarter by nine and a quarter uh, around, and then it's one and seven eighth inches wide, so thick. So um, not wide, deep. Um, so that is a very large Bible. It has a faux leather cover with foil detailing. It is a single column, so just um, you'll just have scripture on in one column. Um, there's a suede liner on the inside of the cover. It's spiral bound, so the Bible lays flat while you're um, working in it. And the font size is only eight points, so it is a little small if you're looking to find um, a larger font size. The pages are 75% thicker than normal journaling Bibles, so that um, it reduces the bleed through. The margins are three and three quarters inches wide. Most journaling Bibles are only two inches wide, so that is a huge margin for your creativity. And then of course you get this nice keepsake box. It has, um, the box actually has telescoping sides so that it grows as your Bible grows. And there are some personally added notes and artwork within the Bible created creating a lasting legacy for future generations. And then at the very bottom of the box, you'll see there's also a, um, a pamphlet with helpful tips in it as well. So I'm gonna flip this back over and I'm going to open it up. Look at that. Look how thick the box is. It's like, I mean, it doesn't even hardly bend. It's a very heavy duty box. And then it just has um, the space. These can be taken out. So if you want um, to be able to stick some other things maybe in there as your, as your Bible grows, or maybe if you've got um, some tabs and things and poofy things that start to stick out of your Bible, you can remove these pieces and then your Bible will fit uh, better inside of this box um, for safekeeping. And then it just has you know a little bit of information on here. So there are the two pieces from the box. And then this is the Bible. Look at that. Look how thick that is. It is a whopper of a Bible. Then there's a little um, pamphlet in here that just talks about um, Bible journaling. That's also um, a handy thing to have. So let me put the box away. And I'm going to get to the inside. Now the cover of this Bible, I don't know if you can see this. Um, there it is. There's some foil um, foil on the front cover. The cover itself is kind of like a rose gold col color. It's a shimmery, um, a shimmery Bible. There you can probably see it a little bit right there. Um, and it's, it's flexible. Um, it's not a hard cover, but it's not totally a soft cover. So um, I don't know if that makes any sense, but on the inside, there's this, the suede um, inside, and it has this lovely embossed in the beginning God created. And as you can see, this kind of like bends. Now I wouldn't want to like fold it, you know, because that would probably ruin it, but you can see that it's um, flexible. And the Bible itself is the Christian Standard Bible. And you can see by Illustrated Faith, um, available through Dayspring. 
And you can also see the pages are white. They're not cream or ivory like a lot of your other Bibles, uh, which is nice for those who don't want, who, who really want that true white. Um, another really neat feature, besides the fact that the pages are a little bit thicker, is that they have um, the books of the Bible on the um, on the first page of each of each Bible um, in kind of a scripty sort of hand lettered font um, alongside. So that's kind of a neat thing. Um, obviously, you can see as I'm flipping through here, how wide these margins are. I mean, that is that is a lot of space to be working with. Um, single column, as I said before, so you've just got one column of the scripture, and um, it is just a really, really neat Bible. Now what I'm going to do, let's get to the back of this Bible. Um, you can see, I mean it barely fits <laughs> in my entire screen, it's that big. So once we get to, as I kind of flip through here, you can just see how nicely it flips. Um, the spiral binding is really neat for um, being able to lay it flat. Now I will say though, I can't imagine that you can add a whole lot of bulk to this Bible. Um, even though it's spiral bound, I don't think that um, it will allow for you to um, add too much more bulk to, um, to the Bible because it's already quite bulky. So i um, just going to get to the back here and show you what the back looks like. On the back we've got um, another little embossed um, phrase here, the grace of the Lord Jesus be with everyone. Amen. So our sentence, I guess. Um, you've got some blank pages, a few blank pages in the back. It looks like two, two blank pages. And, well, two and a half, I guess you could say. So that is in the back. And then the back cover just shows um, the three Dayspring Illustrated Faith and Christian Standard Bible. So now you've seen, now look at how thick that is. So when I said about how you probably can't add a whole lot of bulk to this because it's, I mean, it's not, there's not much uh, expandability going on there for you to um, add bulk to this. Now it will, you know, obviously, if you do, it's just not going to close as well um, as if you, you know, had um, kept it flat. So anyway, so this is this is the full full Bible, and now I'm just going to show you a couple of Bibles that I have of mine that um, that you might have or may have seen, just so you can compare size and thickness and all those kinds of things, even the inside. You can see the inside of this Bible is very different. Oh, something I forgot to mention, I don't think I mentioned, was that there are no lines. Um, so there are no lines on the, the margins. It's just plain. Whereas a lot of the journaling Bibles have um, faint lines on the pages. Okay, so that's another difference. But as you can see, Size-wise, this is a pretty common Bible right here that a lot of people have. This is an ESV Bible, journaling Bible by Crossway with the pretty embossed leaves on it. And you can see the size difference is quite large. And then from the inside, if you wanna just see what the inside looks like, um, you've got a much different, I mean, just comparing the size of the margin alone, you have almost twice as much space in the margin in this Bible as this Bible. 
So um, it really gives you a lot of a lot of space for for working um, and doing your art. And even you know for those who really want to avoid covering the scripture, um, this is this is going to really be great for you. So you can see sort of the color difference between the white and the cream or the ivory. Um, and then as far as thickness, if you want to see a thickness difference. So here is that Bible. And here is this Bible. And as you can see, I don't have a whole lot of bulk in my Bible. So um, you can see that it's definitely thicker um, than um, than your standard Bible probably by about a half an inch so it is a monster of a Bible um, same thing as far as comparing same thing goes for this one this is the, um, the NKJV journaling Bible by Thomas Nelson and you can see that again it's which is the same size as this one these are the same size and you can see so it's the same and the inside of this is also the same um, the difference in the page colors um, this one's a little bit milkier looking creamier looking than this one so um, that's the KJV, the NKJV. And then I finally have this very large. This is a larger Bible. It's actually the same height. As you can see, these are the same height, um, but they're not the same width. This is the King James Version um, by Barber Publishing. And the pages in this Bible are they are white however they have these pretty thick lines on them so you can see um, the difference in this from this Bible to this Bible so the height is the same but the width is not for this particular Bible and you can see the lines are here and we have no lines so that is the other Bible all right well I hope that you find this helpful and you can subscribe to my channel below also you can give me a thumbs up if you like this video if you have any suggestions for future videos or comments, you can leave those below as well. And I will catch you next time.